Good day folks, my name is Joan and welcome to the IT way. Today we're going to configure traffic shaping rules in our security appliance MX from Cisco Meraki. In this instance, we're going to configure several traffic shaping rules and this is normally used when you have some clients on some VLANs in the network that you want to limit the bandwidth to go to the internet and just reserve some specific bandwidth for some things that you really need. In this case, we can use three different applications. We're going to limit the bandwidth of gaming applications, on social media, and music and video as well. So let's get to the dashboard and configure that out. Now that we are in the Cisco Meraki dashboard portal, we're going to go to the security appliance and configure the traffic shaping rules. First, we go to security and SD1, SD1 and traffic shaping. We're going to go down so we can see the different traffic shaping options. Here, we're going to use create a new rule and we have three different applications to create. The first one is going to be gaming. So we can select the gaming from this drop down and we're going to select all gaming. For this application, we're going to create a bandwidth limit of five megabits per second. For the other application, it's going to be social media. We're going to search social media from the drop down and we're going to select all social web and photo sharing. In this traffic shaping rule, we're going to move it to two megabits per second. And the third application that we want to apply the traffic shaper rule is going to be music and video. With music and video, let's try to find them. Music and video, we're going to select all video and music as well. And we're going to use the traffic shaper rule to limit that bandwidth to one megabit per second. So right now we have three different traffic shaping rules and this is going to be applied to all the devices in the LAN side of this security appliance. To finalize the configuration, we just have to save the changes and verify that the changes are already in place. And that's how you configure traffic shaping rules in the Cisco Meraki dashboard. One important note is that the configuration that we did is completely default. So that is going to be applied to all the networks and all the VLANs that you have. In the next video, we're going to use group policies to attach that group policy to the specific VLAN that you want to configure. In case you have server VLAN, internal VLAN, and guest VLAN. So with the group policies, you can attach that traffic shape rule just to the guest VLAN. If you have any questions or you need any help, just put your comments below. I'm more happy to help you. In addition to that, I'm going to put some documentations from the documentation Cisco Meraki portal if you have any specific requirements that are not covered in this video. So this is how you configure traffic shaping rules in the Meraki way. See you in the next one.